If I say good smile company, it is more than possible the first thing that will come into your mind is an android. But what if I tell you they actually made an original transformable character named Cyclion, who is this purple wonder of Corelectible, and today we are gonna take a look at her with my partner Ravage. Oh, morning Maybex, morning indeed. First, let's take a look at her motorcycle form, which is, let's just say, a little bit questionable. I mean, yes, it's looking nice, the purple and silver colors are fantastic together, the shape is ergonomic and smooth enough, but if you look a little bit closer, you cannot unsee the arm and leg cables on the side. And she has a butt. Kinda sexy though, in a weird way. The wheels are rolling as usual, and as you can see, you can even put some figures on her back to ride her that came out a little bit poorly, but I think we admired her interesting vehicle form enough. Now let's check out the robot mode. And here we have Cyclion in her robot mode, and I have to say... Nice. Oh yeah, nice indeed, so nice I can literally lick. So yes, we got a nice feminine design, the colors working even better in this mode, and the overall look is just so nice and unique. The figure itself is a little bit heavier than it looks, thanks to the diecast metal parts in her legs, and you can even remove her face, but we don't get any additional faces, which is weird, but we got the double blades, you can store them in her back, or in her butt, insert them into the holes in her arms or legs, which is a nice option, a really small stand, but it's actually working just fine, plus you can remove the wheel from her back, and also this small panel as well. Holy Primus and Allspark Heaven. Unfortunately, the remaining wheels aren't removable, which is a shame because the connection isn't complicated. However, it's too strong to force the plastic, and trust me, you don't wanna destroy her. At least not this way. You can even open her chest to. To do what? Calm the heck down, Ravage, to reach this unnecessary but nicely detailed mechanic sculpt inside her waist. The possibility is wonderful, the joints are nice and solid, she can do some really nice action poses and you can even play with her opening thighs to get more range at her legs. Oh, I want to play with her thighs and spread her- Ravage, shut the fuck up! Aww. Unfortunately, we have one joint which is not solid at all. Uh. Why is that way, way? But overall, as you saw, it is manageable to put her into some nice poses, so she's still hot as hell. Ravage, you're gonna cross the line. For some size comparison, here she is next to Nandroid Optimus Prime, Generations Drift, Big Firebird Mocha, and of course the inimitable MPP 10Z oversized Weijang Optimus Prime. What can we tell about Cyclion in the end? Oh, I could say a lot of things about her, but now I will give uh, 5 Autobot uh, or Decepticon symbols uh, out of 5. She's almost perfect as an original idea from Good Smile Company, the overall look is fantastic, the transformation is fun and simple, the posability is very good, she got a nice amount of accessories and removable parts, it is a quality figure overall, but she definitely can't get the legendary title because of the noticeable kibbles and especially because of the loose legs, why? But she's still a nice choice if you want some different and unique, I love it, so a huge thank you to my lovely fiancé, I can highly recommend this transformer like golf, because without any doubt, this wonderful lady is absolutely worth it. Especially not very. <laughs> What is this, Siren? I told you you are gonna cross the line. In the name of the law, you are under arrest, citizen. Yeah? For what? You are going to horny jail, Ravage. What? No. Not the horny jail. Not the- PUNISH ME! What the fuck?